Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of application of derivatives. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that a water tank is in the shape of a right circular cone with axis vertical and vertex downwards. So if I draw a cone with axis vertical, and vertex downwards. This is how your cone looks like. Further, it's telling us the semi-vertical angle that is theta. This part of the angle is given to us as tan inverse of three by four. Further, it's telling us water is poured in in this cone at a constant rate of six meter cube per hour. So the change in volume with respect to time is given to us. And they have asked us the rate in square meter per hour at which the wet curved surface area of the tank is increasing. So we have to find the change in the wet curved surface area of the cone with respect to time t when the depth of the water in the tank is 4 meters. So height is given to us when the water in the tank is at 4 meters. We need to find change in the wet curved surface area of the tank or the cone with respect to time. So if I know my radius is r, my height is h and they have also told us the four options that are given to us with respect to change in the area with respect to time. So if I see the options that are given, the first option is 3, second is 4, third is 5 and the last option is so if I know the radius is r and the height is h, I can just apply the idea of tan theta here in this triangle. So I can see tan theta which is opposite r upon adjacent that is h. So tan theta is r upon h. Theta it's known to me that it is tan inverse of 3 by 4 which is equal to r upon h. So from this idea I get r upon h is 3 by 4. If I solve this further, taking h here and 4 and 3 on the other side, I get h is 4 by 3 r. You get this height here, 4 by 3 r. Now, once you have height here, 4 by 3 r, let's figure out the other ideas also here. So, if I have here h as 4 by 3 r, they have asked us to find the change in curved surface area with respect to time when height is of 4 meters. So, if I put, if height is at 4 meters, your radius r becomes 3 by 4 times the height, that is 3 by 4 times 4. So you get the height, or so radius of the water tank as 3 meters. So you get if height is 4, your radius is 3. Now let's figure out the other ideas. If I have your volume given, change in volume with respect to time was given to me here. So if I have volume, I know volume of a cone is one third of pi r square h. So I convert my entire volume in terms of only one variable that is r. So I can do that one third of pi r square. h in this case is given to me as 4 by 3 r. So 4 r by 3, you get 4 by 9 pi r cube. So you have this volume if you just differentiate it with respect to time dv by dt becomes 4 by 9 pi. Derivative of r cube is 3 r square dr by d. So I get here 4 and 3 and in the denominator I have 9. So I can cancel it. 3 ones are 3 threes are. So you are left with I know the change in volume with respect to time that is given to me here. That is 6 meter cube per r. 6 equal to 4 by 3 pi into r square. r we already know if height is at 4 meters, your radius is of 3 meters. So 3 square that is 9 dr by t. So if you further solve it, you get this understanding here that I can cancel it again. 3 ones are 3 2 are. 3 ones are 3 2 are. 2 ones are 2 2 are. So you are left with, if I take 2 and pi on the other side which is left, you get 1 upon 2 pi is your change in radius with respect to time. So dr by dt is 1 upon 2 pi. Now let's figure out 
we know the curves of his area of the cone is pi r l l in this case is your slant height which is given by root of r square plus h square so you get the curves of his area is pi r root of r square plus h in this case we know it is 4 r by 3 the whole square so 16 r square by 9 so you get pi r root of 9 r square plus 16 r square which is 25 r square by 9 so you get your curves of his area as pi r 25 by 9 so 5 r by 9. so you get your curves of his area that is let's say a so a i get in this case as 5 pi r square by 9. so once you have this here I need to find what is the change in this area with respect to time. So if I am differentiating this with respect to time, I get 5 pi by 3 r square also differentiated that is 2 r they are by 3. So all I get here is 5 pi by 3 into 2 r dr by dt we already have figured out that previously 1 upon 2 pi and if I also substitute R here, radius, we have already know that when height is 4 meters, the radius is of 3 meters. So if I just solve that, I get 2 pi cancelled, 3, 3 cancelled. So you get dA by dt as 5 meters squared per R. So you get the change in the wet curves of this area of the tank as 5 meters squared per R. And if you see the option that matches here with the question, the option is C. That is the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this idea. So we just needed to figure out first when the height is at 4 meters, the radius that came out to become here was 3 meters. And then we just use the idea of volume that is one third of pi r square h. We differentiated it with respect to time. So with that idea, we got the change in radius with respect to time as 1 by 2 pi. Then we also had curves of his area of the cone as pi r l. We figured out the area also again in terms of r, that is radius and differentiated it with respect to time. So we got the change in the curves of his area with respect to time as 5 pi by 3 into 2 r dr by dt. We already had figured out change in radius with respect to time as 1 by 2 pi. Just solve that and we got the answer as 5 meters square per hour. That matches with option C. So C is the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of applying the differentiation concept. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12, as well as JWBTVC. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWB mains. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.